autofocus is one of the most basic yet useful features of a modern digital camera. There are two widely used autofocus systems found in most of today's cameras, contrast detection and face detection autofocus systems. Now you might be wondering what these autofocus systems are, how they work, and most importantly, which one suits you the most. And in this video, we are going to answer all your queries. So with that being said, let's get started. First, we are going to talk about the most common and affordable type of autofocus technology. This system achieves autofocus by analyzing each pixel of the camera sensor. When the subject is in focus, the level of contrast reaches the highest point, and this is the basic theory behind the contrast detection autofocus system. To achieve maximum contrast, the camera uses the focusing point of the camera lens and moves it back and forth. Sometimes even after achieving the perfect focus, the contrast detection autofocus still continues to hunt for focus. It is much like how we achieve focus manually using the focus wheel and even after getting the accurate focus, we still continue to roll the focus wheel just to be sure that we are at the right spot. Contrast detection autofocus hunts for focus in a similar way. As this focusing system requires moving the lens focusing point back and forth again and again, it requires comparatively more time to achieve the accurate focus. On top of that, the contrast of an image is heavily dependent on the lighting condition. So the contrast detection autofocus doesn't perform well in low light situations. Plus, if your subject is moving around, contrast detection finds it hard to achieve a stable and continuous focus. So where does the contrast detection autofocus fit in? Well, contrast detection autofocus works well if the subject is not moving and the environment is well lit. Another bright side of the contrast detection autofocus is, it doesn't require any additional sensor, so it doesn't add any substantial cost to the camera price. Now let's talk about the face detection autofocus. It is a more advanced technology than contrast detection autofocus. In traditional digital cameras, light travels through the lens and gets reflected by the mirror positioned just before the camera sends it to the pentaprism. Then, after reflecting through the pentaprism, the light finally makes its way to your eyes through the viewfinder. But before entering into the pentaprism, some amount of light also passes through it and goes to another mirror placed at about a 45 degree angle. This slanted mirror divides the light into two beams which essentially makes two images of the actual scenery and reflects them downward where the face detection autofocus sensor is placed. The face detect autofocus system consists of a sensor and a micro lens. If the light passing through these micro lenses converges to the center of the autofocus sensor, the image is deemed to be in focus. On the other hand, if the two beams of light don't converge to the center of the sensor, the camera deems the image to be out of focus. The more distance between the two light beams, the more out of focus the image looks. And based on the distance of the two light beams or the two reflections of the actual image, the autofocus sensor sends signal to the lens to move the glass element. And this is how the face detection autofocus system ultimately gets the accurate focus. Now this is the most basic mechanism of the face detection autofocus. However, different manufacturers use different methods to implement face detection autofocus in their cameras. The main principle remains almost the same where converging the two reflections of the actual image acts as the main goal. From the discussion so far, it is clear that the face detection autofocus system requires additional macro lenses and sensors in order to function. So it is a comparatively expensive autofocus method. On the bright side, it works extremely fast and is the best suited for fast-paced scenarios like sports photography and wildlife photography. However, in terms of accuracy, it is still not on par with the contrast detection autofocus. To get the benefit of both face detection and contrast detection autofocus, camera manufacturers have come up with a hybrid autofocus system. In this system, the camera achieves faster autofocus performance with face detection autofocus. After getting focus on face detection, the camera then activates the contrast detection autofocus to fine-tune the autofocus further. And this is how hybrid autofocus lets you enjoy the most accurate and faster autofocus performance. 
So that was all about the major autofocus technologies used in today's cameras. Both face detection and contrast detection autofocus have their own perks and flaws. And each type is getting better day by day. Panasonic is really into contrast detection autofocus and coming up with better versions. Already we have seen a comparatively better contrast detection autofocus in its GH5 Mark II. On the other hand, Canon and Sony are also renowned for their contribution to the face detection system. So what are your thoughts about these two widely used autofocus systems? Let us know in the comment system.